Hello everyone. In this video I am going to tell you about vomiting during pregnancy. Number 1 Vomiting related to pregnancy Number 2 Vomiting associated with pregnancy. Now let's see vomiting related to pregnancy. In first type we can find simple vomiting which we call as morning sickness or emesis gravidarum. Second type is hyperemesis gravidarum. It is severe form of vomiting related to pregnancy. Vomiting associated with pregnancy. It is maybe due to urinary tract infection, appendicitis, GI ulcer, intestinal obstruction, pancreatitis etc. In this video I am going to explain only about these two, that is vomiting related to pregnancy. About other causes I will discuss in other videos. Now let's discuss about simple vomiting of pregnancy which is of milder type. Mild vomiting is common in 80% of pregnant women. She may have nausea and vomiting on rising in the morning. It may occur at other times of the day. The vomitus is small, clear or bile-stained. It does not produce any impairment of health or restrict the normal activities of the women. This will disappear with or without treatment by 12th to 14th week of pregnancy. High serum HCG, estrogen, altered immunological states are considered, responsible for irritation manifestation. Management. As mentioned earlier treatment is not necessary. It will come back to normal on its own. As a preventive, avoid fatty and spicy food and take dry toast or biscuits. Take plenty of fluids and fruit juice. If these simple measures fail, go to your gynac, they will manage it through therapeutics. Now let's discuss about severe type of vomiting during pregnancy. It has deleterious effect on the health of mother or incapacitates her in day-to-day -day activities. The adverse effects that we can find in this condition are 5% loss of pre-pregnancy weight, dehydration, electrolyte imbalance, metabolic acidosis. Cause, for this condition is not known but following are the known high risk factors, limited to first trimester and resolves by 20 weeks. Most common in first pregnancy younger age low body mass history of motion sickness or migraine. Family history of similar complaint. Unplanned pregnancies. Also she will have mild hyperthyroidism. Typical hyperemesis gravidarum patient has following symptoms. Initially there is vomiting throughout the day. Can't do normal day to day activities. Later, we can find starvation and dehydration. Increased frequency of vomiting with retching, reduced urine output, pain in abdomen. Dry coated tongue, sunken eyes, acetone smell in breath, tachycardia, hypotension, increased body temperature, jaundice. How to manage hyperemesis gravidarum. Take small amount of food at frequent intervals. Drink fluids in between meals and not after the meals. Do not lie down immediately after meals. Avoid food that causes gastric irritation. Avoid food and odors that trigger nausea and vomiting. Then about complications. If any pregnant women is watching this video then I want you to stop watching this video here. I don't want to put you in trouble by explaining complications. You guys contact your gynac as soon as possible they will prescribe some oral antiemetics to reduce the frequency of vomiting. If there is anyone who wants to educate yourself, then listen to complications. Maternal complications that is things affecting mother due to severe vomiting during pregnancy. These are due to effects of dehydration and starvation with resultant ketoacidosis. Leaving aside those symptomatology, the following complications may occur which are fortunately rare nowadays. Number 1 Neurological complications stress ulcer in stomach esophageal tear jaundice and hepatic failure. Convulsions and coma hypoprothrombinemia due to vitamin K deficiency. Renal failure. Then fetus usually remains unaffected once the problem is resolved. Fetal risks may be due to low birth weight and preterm birth. To summarize, I spoke about two types of vomiting during pregnancy which are related to pregnancy, that is, emesis gravidarum and hyperemesis gravidarum. In both conditions nausea and vomiting is present but second one is of severe type and it will affect day-to-day -day activities. Both conditions are manageable, about which I have explained already. If you can't manage it in your own contact your gynac as soon as possible. I hope you got the brief idea about vomiting during pregnancy which are related to pregnancy. If you like my contents please subscribe and press the bell icon so that I can reach you every time I upload the new videos. Thank you. See you in next video.